Hey everybody. Hello, I'm Kim. And I'm Erin, and we are KE RV TV. Mm -hmm. If you are new to our channel, welcome. Mm -hmm. Today we are here in the White Mountains. Mm -hmm. We are in Franconia Notch State Park, and we are doing the Flume Gorge hike. Yes. We're very excited. It looks uh -huh. beautiful. A lot of incline and a lot of stairs. Uh huh. So we will be huffing and puffing our way up. <laughs> yes. But this is a very well-known hike and known to be one of the most beautiful things yes. to do in New Hampshire. So We're excited. in Lincoln, New Hampshire. It took us about an hour and a half to get here, but it was a beautiful drive mm -hmm. and we're ready to do a hike. Let's do it. Let's go. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full-time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E RVTV, sing it with us. RVTV. Here we are, Franconia Notch State Park. We're going to the Flume Gorge hike. Woo! It's a two-mile hike. You do have to make a reservation and pay for this hike. It is $18 per person. This is a really pretty drive. It's cool to see mountains again. We were just in Tennessee yes. for the last year. So, it's nice to see some mountains. White, the white <laughs> mountains. All right, we're pulling in to the Flume Gorge and Visiting Center. We're not sure where to go, but we're gonna figure it out. So we're walking in the Flume Visitor Center. See what they got going on in here. Looks like they got a gift shop and a food court. That's nice. Look at this guy here. Wow. Plymouth and Franconia Mountains. That's really pretty. Information desk and the restrooms. Well, they have a theater as well. Here's the covered bridge we're about to go over. The Pemi Jawasset River. They call it the Pemi for short. And we're about to go across it right now. So the Flume Gorge is a two mile hike involving moderate uphill and downhill walking and lots and lots of stairs. Here's a little map of New Hampshire to give you a little look at where we are. We're currently staying down in uh, South East New Hampshire right now. It took us an hour and a half drive to get up here to Franconia Notch State Park. So that's where we are. So we did our reservations online and paid online and it's cheaper that way. We paid 18. If you do it here, oh it's 21 or 19 for kids. And just notice this sign here, no pets allowed. But first, we need to stretch. <laughs> Let's go. All right, everybody feeling loose? We're, we're loose. We're loosey goosey for yeah. this trail. Okay, a little bit about the flume. When you do check in, they'll give you this little paper little booklet. There's a map in here as well. But let's just do a little bit about the flume. You are entering a unique geological area with many scenic wonders. We hope you will enjoy your visit. Use this pamphlet as your guide. The entire walking loop through the flume and back to the visitor center by way of the pool is two miles and takes approximately one hour and 15 minutes. Probably longer for us. Yeah, exactly. We're going to be filming and taking our time, but there's no like time limit. Yeah. You just have like I think an hour to check in. Again, you do have to make reservations. If you pay ahead of time online with your reservation, you save yourself two bucks. Mm -hmm. So online it was 16. I'm sorry, 18. Here it was. I think it was 21. So three bucks. Three bucks, 21 dollars. So that's for adults too. Mm -hmm. I think um, between six and 13 was like. I think it said 19. 19. I don't remember. Or something like that. Okay, so starting at the visiting center, you'll follow the flume path. It's down a, down a huge 300 ton boulder across the Pemi River, which mm -hmm. is what the locals here call it. It's the Pema Jawasset mm -hmm. River. 
how the flume was formed. Nearly 200 million years ago during the Jurassic period, the Conway granite that forms the walls of the flume was deeply buried molten rock. As it cooled, the granite was broken by closely spaced vertical fractures, which lay nearly parallel in a northeasterly direction. That's so freaking cool. Yeah. The flume is a natural gorge extending 800 feet horizontally at the base of Mount Liberty and Franconia Notch State Park, New Hampshire. Cut by the flume brook, the gorge features walls of Conway granite that rise to a height of 70 to 90 feet. That's crazy. I can't wait to get there. Woo! Here's a giant boulder, Erin. This is a 300 ton boulder. That's crazy. Okay, see a sign here? Flume this way. It's a loop. So um, that's the end. A nice downhill at the end. Can't wait for that. Up, up, up. <laughs> Let's do this. We can see the covered bridge that we're gonna get to all the way from up here and we could hear some rapids already. So excited. So we made it down to the covered bridge. The pathway goes like right next to it. And look at the water in the river. It is very high. I think from what the videos that I've seen, the water was not this uh, strong and fast. I think the weather, today's July 12th, 2023. And there's really bad weather going on in Vermont and we've been having bad weather here in New Hampshire, so I think these are a little rapidy. I could be wrong, but it's beautiful. We made it to Table Rock. That looks really fun. I want to sit on my butt and slide down that. <laughs> you have a boost. We're hot right now. It's like the mid 80s. Table Rock is a section of Conway granite that is 500 feet long, has 75 feet wide. Over time, the rushing waters of the Flume Brook exposed this large outcropping of rock. Caution! The rocks are slippery. Please stay on the trail. Stay on the trail! Um, we did, um, we've had a lot of inclines so far. Yeah, quite a bit. So, I mean, we're the normal, average, out of shape American, yeah. so if we could do it, you could probably do it. Yeah, you probably do it better than us. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty and it's throwing out some cool air too. I wish I could just sit right there. So it goes all the way down here. Bunch of rocks there. It is beautiful. It is beautiful so far inside this hike. Yeah, it feels like a little air conditioner. Yeah, right? right? Love it. This is Table Rock. It looks really cool once you start to hike up. Look at these rapids. So cool. Right? It's really pretty in here too. A lot of shade and a lot of incline. This is so pretty. Wow. And they turned the air conditioning on. It feels freaking amazing. The cool air coming off of this water, it, it kind of feels like air conditioning. It's AC. Right? <laughs> Even though it's still warm out, but it definitely feels great not get over how pretty this is. How cool it feels. Oh, you can live in here. Wow. I can just see what's coming up and I can't wait to get there. We're just feeling some of the moss. It's so soft. It feels so cool. Like it doesn't look like it would be like that soft, oh, but it is. I could sleep on this. Wow. This, this is so amazing. So amazing made it to the flume. It's so freaking cool. The granite rock which make up the walls of the flume was formed by many millions of years ago in ancient geological times. Wow. That's crazy. And this was discovered in 1808. Yeah. Wow. Alright. Let's go check it out. Nearly 200 million years ago during the Jurassic period, the Conway granite that forms the walls of the Flume Gorge was deeply buried molten rock. As it cooled, the granite was broken by closely spaced vertical fractures, which lay nearly parallel in a northeastern direction. Here it is. Wow. This is 
amazing. The breeze coming off of this water feels so great. You see everything blowing. Wow. I don't know if you can hear me. The water is so loud, so I'm just going to let you take in the beauty a little bit. And so am I, because this is amazing. What do you think? I've never seen anything like this before. It's beautiful. It's beautiful how this was formed. Wow. We gotta start hiking some steps now. Wow, look at the rocks. They go 70 to 90 feet high. the waterfall rushing down from way up there it has these pathways that you walk all the way you see the water coming down the granite right here oh. and there's this big hole in the rocks right here it is so pretty this might be one of the prettiest things we've ever seen love all the moss on the rocks it looks so pretty it's not too too crowded in here I know it can get really crowded but I think we came on a good day walk slippery when wet I feel a little I feel a little mist coming off ah oh, feels great what do you think ladies this is amazing. do you recommend the water's so loud. Yeah. This is so cool. Look at it, like running through the moss down the rocks. Oh. Wow. Highly recommend y'all. This is just so amazing. Isn't it so cool? It's so loud. Are really? And dirty. Oh, <laughs> they are cold. They are really cold. Wow. So cool. So cool. There's some basalt dike right there. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. I can't say it enough. Look straight up. Crazy. I love that you get to walk right next to it. This is so powerful. This water is very high, I think. This is massive amounts of water. The shares are even shaking. Wow. Crazy. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. There's another waterfall coming up too. It just keeps getting better and better. And the you notice how the stairs are like they're not too super, they're not too steep. They're like little stairs, so they're actually very easy to walk up. So that's definitely a plus. Wow, coming up to Avalanche Falls. Here's a look at Avalanche Falls. Wow. We can feel the mist coming off. It's so strong, so loud. There's a rain shelter in 300 feet, it says. Oh, because they get really wet here, so I'm going to put the camera away. Ah, we're getting wet. We just got pretty wet walking by this waterfall. Oh, so nice. It felt amazing. And it was beautiful and the sound of that yeah. water. There's nothing like it. So cool. 
Came across the bear cave. This looks really ready cool. I'm ready to take a nap for sure, and then we'll finish the rest of this hike. I don't know if you can hear me, but we made it to the other side of the falls. This is where we just walked by and got wet. And then there's like a viewpoint of the falls from over here. Really cool. What you think, fam? So cool. So cool. We were just looking at the map to try to figure out how far we are to get back. And we're not sure. Not sure. Okay. Let's figure it out. Okay. Came across the sign. Oh. We have 0.7 to the pool. Do we get to jump in? No, dang. And it looks like 1.2 back to the main entrance. So almost halfway. we're almost halfway. We started a little decline, which is nice. Yeah. And this is a little flat, so it's great. Definitely we would recommend it so far, right? Oh my heck, heck yeah. I mean, I do, you know, <laughs> it costs money, but I think it's worth it. Well worth today. it. Totally. I would do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go back. Right. <laughs> but you can't. It's one way. But I would love to backtrack. But it's a loop. A loop. Came to a little overlook spot with a great view. Really pretty, nice breeze coming through here. I can't imagine what it looks like in the fall here. We're in New Hampshire. We are in New Hampshire. We remind ourselves every time we're somewhere. Yes. Because it's like, what? Uh-huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. We made it to the Liberty Gorge. We were just up there and I filmed a little bit of it and now there's like a little lookout where you can come over here. Wow. So beautiful. Love it. And earlier we spoke to some of the workers here at the park. And they said normally at this time of year these falls and everything are like like a trickle? Yeah. This is because of all the rain they've been getting. So we got a we got a treat here today. We yeah. came on the right day. Yeah, for real. There's not a lot of people. It's like roaring waters. It's uh -huh. beautiful. It's not too hot. Win 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 win. Chicken dinner, baby. We made it to the pool. It's a big pool down there. It said beneath this point in the Pemi River is a deep basin formed at the time of the ice sheet 25,000 years ago by a silt-laden stream flowing from the glacier. The cliffs surrounding the pool are 80 feet high. The bowl is 150 feet in diameter and it's 40 feet deep. Wow. The water's gonna go that way, it's just a diversion. And you can see there's a covered bridge right over here where we're headed. We made it to the Sentinel Pine Covered Bridge here. We got some stairs to go down. That are, they're rock stairs, so they're a little tricky. So just take your time. <laughs> we made it, yay. I'm glad we got to actually go under this covered bridge. It's so cool. Pretty everywhere you look. So this is the pool I was just showing you from up top, we were up top, like over there. Wow. So cool. See from this side over here. I'm so glad that the water is so high today and we got to see it like this and we got to show y'all as well. But this is so fun. I love just walking underneath here. goes all the way down. I want to go in the pool. I know. Go pool. Jump in. You want to jump from here? You want to jump down? You might go splat. <laughs> so right after the bridge, they have the wolf's den. It's a narrow one-way path that involves crawling on your hands and knees and squeezing in between rocks. So, um, I don't think we're going to be crawling on our hands and knees today, but uh, maybe another time. We came across a glacial boulder. These words are hard to say. Look at this. At the time of 
the ice sheet almost 25,000 years ago, these giant boulders were carried upon the great glaciers and left here as the ice sheet melted. I just dropped them off here. <laughs> and look, you can go around it. You can see it from that side? I'm coming! The glaciers just dropped them off. I them here and then I was like, hey, I think we'll live here now forever. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Freaking huge boulder. Huge. Oh, but I think we're coming to the end I love of our hike. This park is so cool. Very beautiful very state beautiful. park. Very, very it's beautiful. It's shaded really nicely. Yeah. And then the cool air that you get, especially I guess normally the water's not rushing that uh -huh. hard. But right now, if, it literally feels like you have air conditioning on. You when you're by, by the water. water. It's crazy. You like walk into a wall of just coolness. Felt wonderful. All right, y'all. We finished the hike. What'd you think? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I mean, paying the money for it, it was kind of intimidating at first. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh my God, what are we getting ourselves into? For a hike. But it was beautiful. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10 recommend. Totally worth it. If you're within, you know, two hours and you have the time, Mm -hmm. I recommend it for sure. So we definitely the first it. half was like pretty much all like incline, but it gave you some rest spots and everything like that. Yeah, so. and if we could do it, you know, the average yeah. person can do it because mm -hmm. we are overweight, we are not healthy, <laughs> and we made it. So and it was totally. And rude. a lot of the stairs were like little stairs, like yeah, not big giant stairs you had to step up, so they were easily, easily, uh, easily, easy, accessible, easy to ascend. Yeah. Sorry, I can't speak. But yeah, I think that was amazing. Yeah. And how cool you get by the water was just, mm -hmm. it was like night and day difference. It was it was um, so, so beautiful. Nothing, I've ever seen anything like that before. So definitely, yeah, it's, so that it's was a two, It was two mile loop. I think it took us about two, two it took us two hours. Because we were taking our time and mm -hmm. filming as well. So, you know, we took longer than probably the average person would too. Mm -hmm. But it was totally amazing. Totally worth it. Beautiful spot here in New Hampshire. Definitely a must do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit your like button. If you're new to our channel or you have not subscribed, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.